What's up people? So today I gotta explain constructors in JavaScript. A constructor is a special method for defining the properties and methods of objects. In prior videos, we've constructed objects like this. We would declare an object, assign it some properties, and some methods. You know, this works. But what if we have to create a lot of objects? Here I'm manually creating three different car objects. That can be a lot of work. What we could do instead is use a constructor to construct these objects automatically. All we have to do to construct these objects is pass in some unique data to the constructor to construct these objects. Here's an example. We are going to create a function, car. Do pay attention to the capitalization. We'll need to set up some parameters. What sorts of properties will we accept when we construct a car object? How about a make, model, year, and color. These are arguments we'll receive when we construct a car object. To assign these properties, we're going to use the this keyword dot make equals the make that we receive. Let's do this with model. This dot model equals the model we receive. This dot year equals year. This dot color equals color. That's good enough for now. Our car constructor is a reusable method where we can define the properties and methods of objects we create. To use this constructor, I will create an instance of an object. I will use const car1 will be our first object. Equals, we'll need to use the new keyword. Type the name of the constructor, car. Car is a special method. We'll need to pass in some arguments. We'll need a make, model, year, and color in that order. My first car, feel free to send some different data to the constructor, but for me, my first car will be a Ford, make sure each value is comma separated, Mustang, the year will be 2024, and the color will be red. We should now have a car object with the name of car1, and I'm going to console.log car1's properties, car1.make Ford, Let's do this with the other properties. We have model, Mustang, year, 2024, and color, red. Now this method is reusable. We can reuse it to create other car objects. Let's create const car2 equals new car. We'll pass in different data this time. The make will be Chevrolet, I will pick a Camaro, the year 2025, and the color will be blue. Now I can display car 2's properties. Let's select car 2.make, car 2.model, car 2.year, car 2.color. We have a Chevy Camaro, year 2025, the color is blue. Let's create one more car. Same process as before. Const car 3 equals new car. I'll go with a Dodge Charger, the year 2026, and the color will be silver. Let's access car 3's properties, car 3.make, car 3.model, car 3.year, car 3.color. Dodge Charger 2026, the color is silver. Another thing with these parameters too, you can name these parameters anything. When we assign these properties, it can be kind of confusing, like this dot make equals make. Really, we write our constructors this way just for readability. Technically, this would work if we renamed our parameters. For example, make will be parameter A, model will be B, year is C, color is D. Then be sure to change these when we assign them. A, B, C, D. This would still work. However, this constructor isn't as readable. Like what the heck is A, B, C, and D? It would be good practice to clearly define our parameters for readability purposes. All right, now let's add a method. We'll take this dot drive equals a function. We'll console dot log. I'll use a template string. You drive the, I'll add a placeholder, this dot model. With cars 1 through 3, let's use the drive method. car1.drive. 
you drive the Mustang. Car 2.drive, you drive the Camaro. And car 3.drive, you drive the Charger. All right, everybody, so that's a constructor. It's a special method for defining the properties and methods of objects. It helps with code reusability. We can reuse it to create many objects instead of having to type them all out manually. And well, everybody, those are constructors in JavaScript.